Hi everyone, it's Mike here again, and it is great to share with you a preview of our latest Moonshots Master series. This series is where we collect all the wisdom that we've learned from over 140 plus shows. And what we do is we study a particular topic and we bring all the best clips and practices together so you get your own little masterclass. And what you'll get in each of the Moonshots Master Series is a show dedicated to your personal transformation or perhaps to problem solving, decision making, thinking better, all that kind of good stuff. Or lastly, it will be about leadership. Those are the three big buckets that all the Moonshots thinking fits into. Personal transformation, thinking better and leadership. That's right. And we pick all of those great clips from superstars, entrepreneurs and authors and wrap it all up together. Now, you're only getting a preview of this. If you'd like to listen to the full show, get all the tools and all the goodies that comes with the Moonshots Master Series, visit moonshots.io, click on the members area and sign up. Be our patron. It's only a dollar a week and you'll get a complete masterclass just for you every single month. So head over to moonshots.io and become a member. But for now, enjoy the show. Welcome to the Moonshots Master Series. It's episode eight. I'm your co-host, Mike Parsons. And as always, I'm joined by the man with a plan, Mr. Mark Pearson Freeland. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Mike. We are bringing a brand new topic for our subscribers on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, as well as our Moonshot Lunar Powered members on the Patreon Moonshot level today, aren't we? We certainly are. We are at our eighth master series, Mark, and we have done some chunky, chunky subjects in the past, if you think about it. First principles, motivation, teamwork, habits, circle of control, communication, and entrepreneurship. But Oof. we we have got a heavyweight coming today. I think this one, if none of the previous seven knocked your socks off, this one will. I totally agree. I think there's an element of consistency uh, or a thread that connects all of our different master episodes. But I agree, this one for me was an absolutely big hitter. Today, listeners and subscribers and members, we're diving into what I would consider quite under-considered, under-maybe-appreciated, under-delved or uncovered area of our lives in uh, personal development and transformation, which Mike is all about finding your purpose in life. I mean, this is a pretty big, juicy topic that I don't think gets enough airtime or consideration. Yeah. Well, I would just, uh, as you were talking and I'm just like, well, when do you actually sit down and make time to talk about this stuff without sounding like a complete idiot? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, shall we just sit down and talk about my purpose in life? Like, like you just don't do it, do you? No, you really, really don't. And I think there's a propensity within business and uh, entrepreneurs. You know, we certainly uncovered a handful of uh, tips and guidance and we'll understand a few more entrepreneurs and authors today in today's episode around business and finding a, a value or a mission objective for businesses in the industry. But actually, turning the mirror on ourselves for a moment, right. thinking about our own personal drive and vision and direction, I really don't think is something that we're almost brought up or educated or trained into thinking about. I, I have a feeling that it may be, and certainly for myself, I am perhaps speaking, I think it, maybe you feel like, bringing it up is almost a confession of inadequacy. Oh, uh, can we talk about my purpose? Cause I kind of don't know really what I'm doing in life. And oh, actually now I say that I feel really stupid and actually let's move on. <laughs> like, yeah, you, do you think yeah. that could be it? That, that we appear weak and vulnerable and lost if we want to talk about it? Do you think that's why it's just not on the table? I, I certainly could see that being a, a reason, you know, whether you want to call that ego or, or just confidence or insecurity or, or uh, discipline, 
it's something that I think is innately within all of us because we're told to put on, you know, quite a brave face and just put your back towards the grindstone and get yeah, on with it. Totally. And I, I could totally see that being something that does uh, put off a number of people, including I think myself it, within my career, there's probably been plenty of times where I've just thought it doesn't really matter. I'll just go and do it without really reflecting on whether it makes me happy and whether it's something that I love doing. Yeah, and, totally. Totally. Yeah. Well, well, I think the good news is for this episode of the Moonshots Master Series, it's all about finding purpose. We're going to have so many goodies. We've got Elizabeth Gilbert to inspire us, Matthew McConaughey, who is quite the expert, I think, on all things purpose, and one of our absolute favorites, Simon Sinek. Uh, all of that is in front of us here, where we are really going to get into a discussion of finding purpose. But before we do, Mark, this show is exclusively for our members. And I think before we launch into the world of purpose, let's do a quick roll call to all our members who support us and for whom we are very grateful. For our members who have been here from day one all the way through to today's episode number eight, you guys are helping us find our purpose and keeping the moonshot lights on. So please receive our lunar powered thanks, Bob, Niels, John, Terry, Bridie, Niall and Marjolin, Ken, Dietmar, Tom and Byron, Mark, Marjan, Connor, Rodrigo, Yasmin, Spaceman, Daniela, Lisa, Sid, Maria, Paul, Berg and Cowman. Welcome everybody to the show. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike and I and the Moonshots team as members. Thank you for listening and keeping with us uh, month to month. We really, really do appreciate your support, energy, as well as your, your presence. We are certainly indeed grateful. So thank you. And with that I want to jump into the world of Kyle Maynard. And for those who don't know Kyle Maynard, he is an amazing guy. Maybe Mark, why don't you give a quick synopsis on Kyle Maynard and we shall launch into a world of finding your purpose. Kyle Maynard was an individual, Mike, that we've, we've covered on the weekly Moonshot show. And he has been uh, what we would regard as one of our listener favorites because he is just an incredible speaker, author, oh. Uh, he's actually a mixed, an MMA athlete, but he's specifically known in all of these different areas because he was the first quadruple amputee to ascend Mount Kilimanjaro without prosthetics. So, yeah, so just to be super clear, this guy, Kyle Maynard, no feet, no arms, did Kilimanjaro, and you will spend time with the episode uh, that we did on Kyle. And you'll think, what the hell am I doing? I'm a lazy bum in comparison <laughs> to Kyle Maynard. So uh, look, Mark, I just want to get straight into Kyle Maynard. He has so much to teach us. And it starts with his thoughts on following your own path. And that really, if I had to go and like pick one thing that I would want to go and do and impart on the world is to combat that like excuse of impotence. It's really that all of us, like, in, in our own way, whether it's in an individual conversation, like, we know for a fact, like, we have the capacity to be able to go and do something, but it's only when we go and make that excuse that we're, we're incapable or we don't care, which is usually a lie, then, then we don't. And there's a concept that changed my life. Like, like, I mean, it's a big statement to make, too, but it really did in a lot of ways when I learned this. And it was Alfred Korzybski said in 1931, he said, the map is not the territory. Meaning that, like, the object, you know, language, you know, with our words, spoken words, it's an abstraction. It's not reality itself, whatever that means, right? So the territory being reality, like, that's whatever it is. But the deal is, is all of us go and walk around. It's a human, natural phenomenon. We all go and walk around relating to our own mental maps as if they are reality. Instead of realizing they're just a map, and some maps are more useful than others, right? If we make a map of Chicago, you know, and we've got 15 minutes to go and make it, then it's probably not going to be a very accurate map. If we use a map from 1960 of Chicago, it's probably not going to be a very accurate map. You know, the m more accurate we can go and get to the real time there, then the better off that we are. But for me and how that relates is, you know, it, it actually changed me in the sense that, like, I feel like when I learned that, I didn't really have to go and prove anything to anybody. 
And it gave me a lot more freedom and ease to go and understand, you know, when relating to other people that that was just like somebody else's map. I mean, Mike, straight off the bat, opening our episode number eight on finding your purpose with Mr. Carl Maynard, he he captures my attention uh, in that specific clip because he's helping us understand to uh, take time, make an excuse in your day or in your life to sit down and actually scrutinize or consider what I think he's refer- referring to as your map of mm. your reality in order to understand yourself a little bit better. Yeah. And one of the things um, that comes instantly to mind on how I might do that is one of my favorites, which is uh, doing one of those uh, self-assessment tests to find out, well, who you are. And when I think about making my map, um, I did Strengths Finder 2.0, and there's a free version called 16 Personalities. And um, these two services give you the capacity to better understand yourself and to make the map of who you truly are. And I had a, a really big aha um, when I did both of these to reveal sort of my personality back to me. It was like holding up a mirror of who I am. Mm. And that often gives you lots of inspiration um, to pursue more things that suit those characteristics. And then, you know, as we'll discover in this show, that's how you start discovering, understanding and knowing what your purpose is and and actually living it. I, I love this idea of self-evaluation and rewriting of your own map and challenging yourself, getting a little uncomfortable with yourself and doing things like it could sound about a bit nerdy, like doing a self-assessment test online, like 16personalities.com. But give it the time, give it the 15 or 20 minutes. I found that really rewarding. Mm. What what do you do when you're searching to like re-examine and question your own map, Mark? What, what do you try and do? Yeah, I, I think 16 personalities is definitely something that I have really enjoyed doing because it gives you the tools in the format of questions, of multiple choice questions, to scrutinize your reaction to things. And for me, you're right, that's a really helpful um, website and, and software to go and check out. I think for me, I also quite enjoy the uh, challenge of communicating it to somebody else. So if I'm using 16 personalities as a way to map a, uh, a direction or a matrix of things that inspire me, that uh, capture my um, attention, capture my energy within day-to-day work as well as family life. I think trying to communicate to another individual, whether it's a colleague or somebody in my personal relationships, it's something that, again, can be quite uncomfortable. And I'd probably start mm-hmm. with something like those 16 personalities first because then you feel a little bit more comfortable with uh, understanding or tapping into your own reaction Mm. to things. But then having a conversation with somebody else almost vocalizes it. And for me, particularly in my career, vocalizing a problem or a consideration to another individual has always helped me put all the pieces together into a clear jigsaw that I then understand. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I can see what you're doing. You're like, you're building, building that picture. Um, and talking about something is a great way because mm. it's funny sometimes when you say things, do you ever have those moments when you say something and you, you only then truly realize the thought as you've said it? Well, I, I once had, it, 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 I once had this moment when I was in my job in London where I said to a close colleague, uh, okay, I can see you've got a problem my way of cracking the problem is just to talk about it to somebody. Why don't you tell me your problem? I'm not on your project. I don't know the client. I don't know really what anything that you're going to tell me, but just vocalize it to me and see if that helps. So the chap, he sat down, he took maybe five or 10 minutes telling me about the project and the problem he had. And then suddenly he stopped mid-sentence and he said, Hey Mark, I've just cracked it. 
you didn't need to say anything, but by me vocalizing it to you, the pennies dropped. I know exactly what I need to go and do. So he stood up <laughs> and went away. Sure, I had no, you're like, yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> and, and obviously that's very specific to problem solving. But I think going back to the Kyle Maynard uh, topic, and obviously today's topic on finding your purpose, I think the action of scrutinizing your motivations, your behavior, or your attitude towards something, and either doing it personally with a per- with a personality test or a, or a, mm-hmm. uh, an exercise like that, or vocalizing it to somebody else, will start to uncover different strands, different directions within your own mind, which then ladder up to that territory or that map of reality that Carl was was discussing in in his talk. Totally agree. So I think you can cover topics around like self-identity, like who you really are. Like uh, a good one there would be like to uh, understand your strengths. Mm. Then you can get into your areas of interest where, where things are feeling natural. Um, you could get into like what you actually dream about, something we spoke about, or you can even ask questions about what makes you happy. And we have another great moonshot classic guru, Mr. Dan Millman, uh, the author of The Peaceful Warrior. And he's got a really good question to not only inspire us, but to challenge us. And it really helps us in the search of our purpose. So let's have a listen to Dan Millman asking the question, what makes you happy? <laughs> 